We started with a check-in as we went over our goals from studying abroad in London. As Papa Q turned on the overhead, I seen the icebreaker for the day. What does your name mean? We'll start over here with Elisa, he said. I groaned in my head. Who named you? Well, I guess my mom did, I said. I'm not sure. What does it mean? I never gave it much thought, but when I looked it up, it means joyful in Hebrew. What do other people think when they hear your name? I think they don't expect me to be black. But when they ask, what does your name mean to you? I froze. I think I said, it's just a name. I never gave it much thought. I moved around a lot and slouched in my seat, but I was quiet for the rest of the discussion. One by one, they talked in ways I hadn't expected. My dad mother named me, and when you write the name out correctly, it means jade like the ancient stone. It also means beautiful, Kiwe said. My name is John Anthony Francois. I'm named after my father. And when my father's friends hear my name, they immediately know I'm his son. Their names connecting them to their family history, their identity, and even giving them the characteristics you will see in a mother, a father, or a grandmother. They were passionate. I felt hazy, like I lost something or actually never had it. I like to know those things about my name too, but I don't have the option to ask. While they were explaining details about their names and family, I thought about Carolyn, the second woman who adopted me. She took care of four kids that weren't hers. Carolyn showed me the definition of strength and generosity, but she didn't give me my name. I've been adopted three times. Two of the women passed away. Every time I thought I found a family, it was all taken away from me. I struggled in my first year of high school with the death of my brother and Carolyn. My name doesn't mean it, but through these losses, I've learned to be resilient, even when my spirit told me to stop. And I don't know who I inherited my intelligence or my self-motivation from, but I graduated with honors at the top 10 of my class with a 4.5 GPA. I am now a presidential scholar on a full rise scholarship at Paul Quinn College. I don't have stories about my name, but I've got stories about who I am and how I got here.